Hello guys, my name is Dennis Cadero. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how to fix 100% disk usage. So before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do well to subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications so that you get notifications whenever I post a new video. Thank you. So the first thing to do, we are going to open a window by pressing the Windows button on our keyboard together with the arrow button so when we press them together this window pops up so on the search field here we are going to type in services.msc so i'm going to type that right now services.msc so i'm going to click on ok so after clicking on ok another window pops up and then we are going to just select one of the files right here so you just click on it and then press the letter s when you press the letter s all files under the s category will come up so what we are looking for is one of the files that says sys main so i'm going to scroll down we are looking for sys main this is sys main right here so I'm going to click on sysmail and then right click on it and I'll go down to property and then you come here to this startup type and then click on automatic and then when this list of options drops you click on disable after clicking on disable you click on apply and then ok what sysmail does on system is that it makes applications available for use that is applications that you use often on your system let's say for instance you use Corel draw often on your system and windows has taken note of it that you always use Corel whenever you boot your system so whenever you boot your system even without you going to launch the application the application will launch itself with the help of sysmin so that's what sysmin does in your system so the next thing to do is to look for connected device platform still on this list so we are going to go to category C we're going to search for connected device platform so here it is connected devices platform service so I'm going to click on it so I'm going to repeat the same action we did on sysmin click on properties and then come to startup and then disable it click on apply and ok so that's it so that's the first step so the next thing to do we are going to close this window and then open our file explorer it's already open here on my system so in case yours is not open you can just simply go to your search bar and then type in file sorry file explorer here it is click on open and then you go to pc when you click on pc you select the local drive the main drive on the system which is local disk C on my system so I'm going to right click on it and then scroll all the way down to properties go to tools and bring this up here so and then I'm going to go to optimize and defragment drive and I'm going to click on optimize and then you can see mine is on right here so I'm going to turn this off right now by clicking on change settings and then i'm just going to basically uncheck this run a schedule run on a schedule rather and then i'm going to click on ok now you can see it's off so that's that's for that so i'm going to close this and go to the next step so i'm going to go to my search field right here and I'm going to click on, I'm going to type in updates. So I'm going to click on Windows updates settings. So I'm going to 
open it. So you are, you are going to make sure that your PC or your system is up to date. Right here, I you can see mine is not up to date, so I'm going to click on check for updates. Although I tried it earlier on, it was showing download pending. So I just basically going to make sure that your system Windows is up to date. So I'm just going to minimize this for now. I'm going to go back to it when I'm done with this video. So the next thing to do is to right click on your taskbar and then go to task manager. So when your task manager is open, you click on startup right here. So what you are going to do here is to disable all applications that you are not using on your system. So for instance, this registration, I'm going to disable this right now because I do not use it. So I'm going to right click on it and then click on disable. You can see it's disabled. So I'm going to check for something else that I'm not using. Um, I think that's just it. So you can do same on your system disable all applications you are not using so that is it for this video if you find this video helpful be sure to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't and also turn up post notifications so that you receive notifications whenever i post a new video thank you and see you on the next one